We're going to start things off, though, with state climatologist David Emery Stukesbury, who says Georgia could be heading toward a drier, warmer winter. Now, if that is true, farmers would not get the beneficial winter rains they need to replenish soil moisture. The Monitor's Mark Wildman traveled to Athens to meet with the state's weather expert. Understanding and preparing for climate change is vital to the success of farming operations. At the State Climatology Department in Athens, Dr. David Emery Stukesbury works on keeping Georgians informed on what to expect from the weather. The State Climate Office is a service component of engineering at the University of Georgia. And being a service component, um, I'm one of the few people whose duty is to look at the needs of the state as a whole when it comes to climate. He publishes reports throughout the year, and in his latest report, has Georgia potentially going through a warmer and drier winter. It all has to do with the ocean atmosphere system switching to a La Nina pattern. That means a temperature change in parts of the Pacific Ocean could make us drier in Georgia. Particularly south of the fall line, so the coastal plain, if it's going to be a La Nina winter, we can almost guarantee that it is going to be warmer than normal and drier than normal. Dr. Stukesbury says our weather patterns change every few years and that we all need to be aware of the current pattern that we are in. The atmosphere ocean system comes in three major patterns that impact the southeast. We have the El Nino pattern, which we are in about 25 percent of the time. We have the neutral pattern, which we're in about 50 percent of the time. And we had the La Nina pattern, which we're in about 25 percent of the time. Dr. Stukesbury says if you want an example of a classic La Nina pattern, just look back to the winter of 98-99. If you recall, that winter was very dry. The winter of 1997-98 was a classic El Nino winter, very cool and wet across the state of Georgia. Then during the spring we, of 98, we went into a neutral pattern just temporarily, and then we went into an La Nina pattern by late summer of 1998, which then meant the winter of 98-99 was very dry, which set us up for the drought we had in 99 and 2000. Drought is not something Georgia is excited about facing, but if we are heading toward a drier, warmer winter, producers and others should take note and begin to prepare. Probably the way to think about it is we need to be thinking that we're in a drought watch. If you think about a tornado watch, it doesn't mean that tornadoes are, are guaranteed, but it does mean that when we've had these type of conditions in the past, this is when we've had tornadoes. So it's this type of idea that, okay, let's think about this as a drought watch. In the past, when we've had La Nina type conditions like we are now experiencing and are expecting to experience over the next six to nine months, those type of conditions have been associated with drought in the past. In Athens, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.